Eddie Cans with D. This is Steve Maustermann, and yes, I am the regular guy from Long Island. Camus is back. I have here a 2018 and a 2019. And we want to try out two things. Number one, which is better of those two? But number two, why can we drink the Camus Cabernet so young? Let's check this out. I'm going to open up the first bottle. You all know I'm a big fan of Napa Valley Cabernet and I love the Camus wine. What Chuck Wagner does with the Camus wine is special. And even though we have already a 2019, I'll just think about it, the 2019 was harvested in October or November 2019. All the processing that took place would lead until spring of 2020. The wine came out into the shops already in January of 2021. So it couldn't have been in oak more than six months. Nevertheless, and obviously a lot of critiques say this is strange that Chuck Wagner is only aging these wines so little, but they are nevertheless very, very, very good. Okay, I have opened up this 18. He is my friend of every single show and partner, the Cook Owl. All right, 2018 was 46. So Chuck Wagner has his special label on the back of the bottle, which is different from all the other labels. This is uh, commemorating actually the 46th year of the Camus Vineyard. Let's put it here into these nice crystal glasses. Already by pouring this wine, I see the dark, ruby, red color, almost purple. The lines in the glass are outstanding, indicating high alcohol content. The color is just beautiful. I typically critique the labels. I did a show about a year ago and I tasted the 2011 the 2014 and the 2016. The 2016, by the way, won that parallel tasting, this vertical, but uh, I critique the label. I think the label is rather boring. However, the wine looks excellent. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Deep, strong aromas of raspberry, blackberry, uh, black, Current, some oak in here. It's a beautiful, in your face aromas that are unmatched by anybody else in Napa Valley. Let's give it a whirl. Even keeled, very balanced. The fruit is intense. The blackberry in the mid palate dominates, but overall very well balanced, enormous fruit, very little oak, which explains that uh, Chuck brings these wines out so fast. So it is a wine that is very, very much liked by some, but others say, oh my God, that's a little bit much. It is fruit in your face for excellence. Let's move over to 2019. 18 obviously was a great year in Cabernet for Napa Valley. Almost as good as, and people are still arguing about it, as good as the legendary year 2016. We have no word yet back from the professional radars on 2019. Okay, let's pop this 2019 cameras open. Out. Fresh glass for the 2019, 2019 Camus Cabernet. Color again is beautiful, ruby red, almost purple. I'm trying to compare them side by side. Maybe the 2019 is a little bit more reddish. Okay. 
Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Not as much in your face. Elegant blackberry aromas. Quite subdued and elegant, I have to say. Let's give it a whirl. A little bit more red fruit, so some uh, raspberry in here, a little bit of an acidity bite, so obviously the younger wine, very good, not as full as the 2018, but extremely pleasant. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. I like both. I would give the 2018 a 4.7, I would give the 2019 a 4.5 on Vivino. The official rating so far, 2018 4.5 for the regular Vivino voter on average, and 2019 4.4, so the average Vivino score is a little bit higher on the 18, but also the base of the scoring in 2019 is still thin. You can buy the 2018 at this point in time, today, on Vivino, on the app, in New York for $99. The 2019, while still young, at Vivino you get for $89. In some of these super big stores, like a Total Wine, you may very well be able to snack this wine away for $79. I've seen it sometimes as low as $73 when they first come out. But generally speaking, they are expensive because of the beauty and the rareness of the Camus Cabernet, the hang time, the crop thinning they do there at Chuck Wagner's estate, the cocoa, the cassis, the vanilla is always the same. They are like a powerhouse that makes the vines taste very, very similar each and every year. I like the 2018 a little better from my last show where I rated the 2016 the best. I think the 2016 may still be the best, but 18 comes close. That's the show, ladies and gentlemen. I see you again next Sunday. Please follow me on YouTube and on Vivino, and I see you next Sunday.